Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I am Carlos Seldron, and I will be your architecture and historical walking tour guide of a tour called Living La Vida Imelda, or Understanding the Philippines During the Cold War, as framed by the biography of the woman who literally defined it all for us at that time, Imelda Marcos. One day while dancing by the jukebox in the Congress canteen, <laughs> they, she looked across the room and she caught sight of the youngest congressman in the Philippines at that time the young, dashing and ambitious Ferdinand Edrelin Marcos. And the second that Ferdinand and Imelda's eyes met, it was electric. Please walk this way. After all the research you've done for your tour, are you surprised that Imelda is running again for Congress and that she's probably going to win? Oh, for sure. No, she will. She's going to win in, that, in, the, in the region that she's running, for sure. It comes not as a surprise to me at all, because really Imelda does resonate quite a bit to the Philippine masses, she always had. But also right now, you're also looking at a voting population that is half, half of the voting population is 25 years old and below. So actually these people right now can both look at Marcos and Aquino with the same unbalanced eye because both of them are both distant characters in history as well that they have to vote for, right? Would you believe that Imelda tried setting up her daughter, Aimee? <laughs> with Prince Charles, with Prince Charles, can we please, can we please, Mary, can we please? A, you're Catholic. <laughs> no, A, you're from Leyte. <laughs> Why is it that every president after 1986 only proven to make President Marcus look better? I mean, there's actually this really weird romanticization of martial law, the whether we were suppressed, but there is still some sense of peace and order. There is still some sense of pride in our nation. I mean, a lot of people think that things were actually better back then compared to now. We may not like everything that Ferdinand and Imelda have done, but really, the infrastructure that they left behind and the stature that we enjoyed in the eyes of the world is really another way of looking at what other people perceive to be the darkest point of our history. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we end today's journey.